Well, I start uh, to be a professional trainer in Sweden. But first, uh, I was in America two years. And uh, <clears throat> I worked for a very big trainer. His name was uh, uh, Howard Beisinger. He had horses like uh, Speedy Crown, Speedy Somali, and many, many good horses. And there I become a second trainer for him. I had uh, 12 horses and uh, one of them was a uh, world record holder after. His name was uh, Lindy's Crown. And that uh, was a very, very good horse. After America, I go back to Sweden and I become a professional trainer. But uh, even that I win many races, it was very, very difficult to get owners to come with these horses. And uh, so I said to my brother, who was trainer in Italy, that if he knew anything, he could call me because I was very interested to go to Italy. And one day he called me and he said, uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have a, a trainer that you can uh, maybe can start to work for. And that was uh, Eduardo Gobellini. And uh, this stable uh, is one of the biggest in Italy. So uh, I said, OK, we go, we try three months and see if they like us and we like them. And, uh, but we start to win many races uh, and it was very, very nice. So we stayed there six years for Gobellini. And uh, during this time, we win uh, 800 races in six years. So that was uh, very, very nice. After Gobellini, I go one year in uh, Rome, to Roma for Mondial Sport, but after a while I start to feel that uh, Italian uh, sport uh, for trotting uh, starts to go down. So I uh, said to my wife that uh, <clears throat> if there is any place we should be work with horses, it should be France. And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we called some friends and uh, I said that we are interested to come to France and if you know anything, call me. And after a while, they called me and say that uh, we have one stable that can be interested uh, to hire you, but you must come here and uh, speak first. Okay. So I went here and uh, that was Ecury Quickstar and uh, Delon. Monsieur Delon. We agree. I was here one weekend and uh, we were agree that uh, I was supposed to start here. And uh, this was in May uh, 2008, I think. And uh, so we come here and we start and uh, we had very, very good result with horses like uh, Save the Quick, Up and Quick, Touch of quick, titty quick, unique quick. <laughs> it was many and many, many more also. Uh, we stayed uh, with the uh, Quick Star three years. Uh, we had, uh, we get, uh, I got a uh, very good. Uh, uh, <sighs> Proposition. Opposition. <laughs> for uh, Ecury de Charme and I thought at the moment that uh, uh, this can be a little bit better for us so we decided to to start for Ecury de Charme and now uh, I have been there three years and uh, we stopped uh, to work there because uh, Monsieur Rano say that he want to stop training in his farm just have breeding and uh, debourage to break the horses, break in the horses. So now I have started my own business and I have uh, 15 horses in uh, Gros Bois. And uh, it's uh, very, very nice. Uh, now we have to win races so we get some more horses in training.
you, you was almost everywhere in the world. Yeah. Do, do you think in France the level is higher, the highest, or it it's one of the higher? For me, it's uh, one of the highest in the world, for sure. Because here you have so many trainers and so many horses and good horses. So here you really need to be on top to win big races and many races. It costs too much to have one horse in training in Sweden and you race for no money. So for the owners, it's uh, so difficult to have a horse in training and get this. Okay, I know it's, it's, it should be a hobby also, but uh, sometimes you want to have some money also. Okay, in Europe today, it's only France and Sweden where you can work uh, because there it's the most money to make. But for a trainer like me, uh, you, you, you don't get any horses uh, in training, even that you win in Sweden. It's only the biggest uh, trainer in Sweden who get the horses now. What, what is the, the most difficult thing in this French system for you? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing? No. Everything is easy? No, easy. Uh, the language. <laughs> <laughs> but the system for you, it's... Like the Volt system, it's for me super because the horses you, you don't get uh, like in Sweden when you have to go round and round and round and go. Uh, here you go up and you turn and you go. For me it's more easy for the horse this way. Did you feel good here? I feel very good here, yes. It's totally different? It's totally different uh, from before because uh, before I worked for uh, one owner and now I'm uh, my own. So I can uh, take uh, horses uh, from outside, it's no problem. Yeah. Why don't you have um you don't have more uh, French clients? Uh, I thought that, uh, I hope they come now uh, when the sales are in the ville and uh, uh, like this. But I don't know if uh, they know really that actually that I'm uh, professional now and I'm alone uh, and I'm allowed to take horses from uh, owners from outside. We, we heard a lot of things with uh, your separation between you and uh, Écurie des Charmes. C can you give us the truth? The truth is that uh, Monsieur Renaud come to me and say uh, that uh, he want to stop training and uh, he just want to have uh, debrage, breeding and uh, breaking in the horses and it was supposed to be finished with the training and of course uh, it was not so nice for me and my family uh, but uh, what can you do so that's why i, I start up uh, my own business now in uh, grobois with uh, mr rano you have good relations because he let you uh, six horses yeah, we have never fight or anything like this during my three years and uh, uh, he left uh, six horses for me and among them uh, this airport. So I don't think that he is so angry with me. <laughs> Who choose the horse? He, he choose to, to send you these six horses or you, you choose? Uh... I choose uh, six horses and I got four <laughs> and two other, but it's no problem. How you do to, to convict your uh, um, Swedish owner to send you uh, Swedish horses in France? It's Bec money? It's uh, the money and uh, it's a little bit easier in Provence if they have horses that is strong. 
maybe they have horses only for 1600 meters, then it's no use to come here and go 3000 meters, 2900 meters. But uh, I convinced them that, uh, of course, it's better money, it's a little bit more easier, and uh, you can always try to go to the right, to the left, you have Monte, uh, so you have many disciplines that you can use here. We, we talk about your future. Where do you think you will be in one year? I hope I have around uh, 40, 50 horses in training that are still uh, in Grobois and I have a place uh, outside here in the country.